Now, the increasing cost of living continues to take a toll on South Africans. As fuel price rises, life in the country is getting more and more expensive. Our reporter, Nobisuto Jana, is finding out how people are coping. Uh, Nobisuto, of course, you know, it is getting more and more expensive out there, but you've been talking to a few people. What are people saying? What are they cutting on? Certainly. In fact, last week um, when it was announced that the fuel hikes were um, coming into effect, we spoke to a number of business people within the city centre and they were sharing how expensive it would be for them to transport their goods or to deliver uh, their products and that would impact on the pricing of how much they're selling their products and their businesses. And we also spoke to a petrol station manager who was saying that, I mean, back when he wanted to invest in that particular business, he thought that he would be making or seeing um, the, the investments, but due to how much they are spending to buy petrol and diesel and also um, uh, paraffin, um, it, he's spending more money for that than he's seeing the returns. But I'm also joined by Ms. Rowe here in Cape Town to talk about um, the topic that we are highlighting, the issue of the, co the high cost of living. Ms. Rose, you were telling me that, I mean, times have been tough. Just tell us what have you been doing in your household differently compared to previous years due to the increases? Hi, good morning. Um, first of all, like we all know, the economy has got us all. And um, unfortunately, um, things are just getting higher and higher however we still need to live and eat um we in my house specifically um we've had to cut down on so many things especially whereas i would travel to work with my own transport i'm left to do public transport as it's not much cheap because petrol keeps on going up however it, it does cut down a little bit on the spending um food wise um Definitely a big change. Um, you have to, unfortunately, you can't eat less. However, we have to cut down on expensive as to what is I'm used to eating. I'm gonna have to go on a lower budget, maybe something different. So yeah, um, we still have to go on. However, it's just learning to live with um, changes in life as to cutting costs on everything. But it's also quite hard because we still need to keep on doing what we have to do, especially with the petrol price increase. Um, like, I have this little business that I started. However, to find clientele, I need to go out on my own expense, which is quite hard for me, you know? So, yeah. And just give us an idea of your budget for your monthly groceries if you are that person who buys monthly or you're that person who buys whenever there's a need to do so. Has it changed and like how much are we looking at due to what we're experiencing now? Yes, definitely has changed. Um, oh, I am a person that works on my budget when my shopping grocery is concerned. Um, however, um, it's been sky high because um, looking at the price of meat alone um, you can't find a lamb under 1,800 rand anymore and buying lower than that is not even going to keep you or going to last you a month so instead of spending I would say I used to look at a budget of three and a half to 4,000 rand on my meat which is way more now yes definitely Thank you so much for your time. I hope that things would change for the better for the rest of us, including yourself. Uh, well, we are hearing from Kiptonians. I mean, although it's hard to adjust to the current status of our economy, people are left with no choice but to do so. But they're also counting losses. I mean, a household that spends so much money and they're saying, I mean, you, you spend more, but you're not getting the value of whatever you're buying because it's less items, but the prices are more. Price of oil, petrol, it's something that a lot of people have been complaining about. And uh, these are some of the views from Kiptonians regarding these changes in our, in our economy. Mm. Thanks so much, Nobisu to Hedjan. Of course, life in South Africa is getting more and more expensive. Hopefully, there will be some light at the end of this tunnel.